It's all right. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Also. Um, so, what I want to do at the validation, it's we we kind of we kind of try to be the infrastructure for like ZK graphics. Well, simply because we for some reason we put the underlying which is which all which which like things are self on the ZK is ready, which is well that's not far from true. All the all, all the proofs are immediately verifiable, so some of them are started verifiable. So um, yeah, that's that's basically what we did. Uh, well, do we need to do we need to do we need to tell why we why we need like proofs? Uh, sorry, I skipped the privacy use case because we had a lot of privacy discussions on the event yesterday. So <laughs> so yeah, uh, basically why we need proofs? Does anybody need explaining why we need proofs? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so first of all, most of this most of this case, most of these use cases are basically like compression use cases. It allows us like to scale something which is hard to scale. It allows us to it allows us to compress the computation which are required like for ZK region, just like like the ZK bridge. It allows us to do some excessive computations, uh, well not only on these, to be honest, like uh, some excessive computations as our folks do, do as well. So some folks are experimenting currently uh, with with trying to prove the like, ML model predictions on um, different protocols. So that's something which is new. And uh, I I will, I also I also have um, have um, good knowledge about some folks doing like games, provable games. Some folks are proving, for example, like speed droppers. To Ethereum. We'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, so that, that's maybe yes. Uh, oh, yeah. So basically, what Delta consists of currently, it's um, like, you know, just current like, marketplace with proof duration. So we kind of aggregate proof generators who want to, who do not want to, you know, get aligned with like a very particular project, you know, just being blocked to a particular project. Uh, because of some events uh, like prior to 2020. Uh, that's like the first thing. The second thing we uh, second thing is we uh, do the circuit compiler. Basically like DDL VM, so we basically just we got the old VM and we made it provable. So folks are proving like you now plus CPG. Some folks are trying to do Haskell on top of the DDL VM to put like Haskell on top of it. I'm not sure how it's gonna work out, but that's that's what's happening. Uh, what was what was prior to that? Uh, what was prior to that is uh, yes, we've uh, we've been around for some time, and uh, basically this whole thing was born because of some prior calibrations of ours. So it was we had our Luna calibration, it was our like uh, collaboration with Oli Kalenka, it was uh, our calibration with private. So that's that's what we came up with after these calibrations. That's the case. I don't know, maybe that's what I said. Okay. Um, what is it? Okay, that's pretty obvious. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 come on, that's pretty obvious. I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> that's, that's obvious, okay? That's like, geez. we can just go on with that. Uh, yeah, this like, example. Uh, for example, it, oh, okay, <coughs> we have to tell this, you know, uh, scroll fun of like fishing. <laughs> If you, you can elaborate on that more, you know that much more. You have, you know that about you know things about the much more than me. But anyway, that's like part, okay? Same with same with like the Venus familiar state proof. It's it contains something about like 35 billion scalable multiplications, which is uh well quite a lot. And uh, well same with like but it's consensus like proof like four thousand DDS signatures takes about two hours to be generated. So it's like okay, next thing. I guess we're doing this in the place. Um, yeah, so kind of what we came up with is that, uh, kind of what we came up with is that, okay, well, let's just make folks be able to use it, buy the cell groups. Some folks are even trying to speculate on that. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Some folks are trying to do like proof arbitrage, you know? <laughs> I'm not even kidding again. This, this is the thing. This is the thing. So we basically commoditized all the proofs and we're like, okay guys, well, we need proofs for like a project or something, just come and get it. 
that, that's what it is. Uh, oh, yeah, well, that's a pretty trivial illustration of how this thing works. It's, you know, just something like a bottle of something like, okay, you lose. So some of them was taken. So they come up with something like, okay, we need hard work for generation. So generations are like, all right, we're ready. Uh, and, uh, well, yeah. Well, I'm not really happy with the last part of it. I guess I'll redo it tomorrow. So, yeah, that's, that's how it works. And then it gets verified like leaf, start net, or like anywhere else. So, that's where it is. Uh, yeah, well, that. Okay. Um, what, 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 what does it give us? I uh, mean, why, why are there kind of a marketplace or something like this? Why, why do we, why do we have, why do we have just, you know, came up with hardware or like some custom acceleration or something? It's because, I mean, we're not going that way. We're not going that way again. That's the first thing. And the second thing, bringing market dynamics and group generation uh, introduces like competition between groupers and, uh, you know, project bringing, project bringing demand section, uh, demand bar to the, to the marketplace. They bring their own requirements for the group generation, which allows like groupers to understand what is required. And uh, well, and to supply if they can comply, if they, if they, if they can comply with the requirements. So you know, marketplace basically means marketplace model basically means you know never ending competition between groupers uh, for for you know continuous competition between groupers or group generation to comply with project's requirements. So this is something I guess I know Alex, you you will have something to deliberate about this a lot of it. Yes. Um, you know, you know, just a little bit of context. Uh, it's very similar to what if, like, what if Zprize was running forever. So that's what it is. Uh, um, yeah. Well, that's uh, that's something. That, that's something. I can even I can even, like that is something we have in common with like with, with these fellas. <laughs> that is something we have in common with everybody <laughs> present in here, guys. So uh, that's you know everybody struggles up. Uh, so. We came, so we, we, we came to solving this problem like, from a different perspective. Uh, like we didn't we didn't come up with like building a specific DSL, which is which is much better for like applications which are specifically built for ZK and like use cases, okay? But in case you're about to do something really huge, like a shitload of photography, or like I don't know, some again, game ML, whatever, whatever, then it's much easier to just reuse whatever with whatever existed. So, so you can just Grab some cross package, some cross trade, or like CV library, or like something, or like Python. Well, Python is not Python is not working yet. Somebody just created for that. So okay, just cross the CV now, right? Uh, um, so you can just grab the current existing thing, compile it, prove it, and uh, you know, and stop worrying about like the size of the circuit because we have like provers which are which are which are ready to wait, which are ready to generate that. So if if you if you really need it. They don't do it. Uh, that's what it is. Um, yeah, this is like okay, this is pretty pretty similar, pretty similar illustration, which illustrates that okay, there's a compressor, compressor like well, an application like a consumer, they just come up with the code, really huge, really large one, uh, which is you know, whatever, so you can run to find anything. Circuit the circuit gets compiled, again. It's not as an EDM, it's not like a virtual machine or anything, there's no white code inside, it's a circuit generator, that's that's like the difference. It's harder to build, it's a pain in the ass to support, but um, it allows you to you know, squeeze all the performance you can, so that's the biggest. And as a result, you get a circuit which is provable, which is uh, like provable, which is verifiable, which is provable and verifiable. Okay, uh, that's the biggest. Uh, how does that solve? Yeah, well, I just I just listed all of these. I just listed all of these things. So it's uh, yeah, that, that's what it is. Um, okay, this slide this slide is not my authorship, but I'll I'll still read it. I'll, I'll, I'll still talk about this. It's, well, yeah, the point is kind of decentralized, so that means that you don't have to like, trust the curator and that the tool try to you know, do something. <coughs> Not fancy. Uh, same with like DTLDM. Um, yeah, well, basically that was that was, that was the solution to our own thing. And uh, we were like, okay, well, if that's useful to anybody else, we can just open source it and we can just 
that that's what happens. Um, it just increases kind of learning curve for, for those who don't want to learn like ESL. It's like the books are also bigger than this, they're using like TypeScript. And uh, Alex, as far as, as far as I remember, like all your folks are taking only Rust. Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Our, yeah. But, 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 but it's Rust alike. It's Rust alike. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, it's kind of similar. So that's where it is. That's where it is. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay.